Hey there, I wanted to make a video response to Art of Wrath. I got a, uh, a email from him today. He's having some problems with the graphics card on his G5. And so there's several things that as I wrote a response, I realized I should probably show you how to do so that you can find some of the things that I'm talking about. Um, the first thing, um, he's got a great description here of his system and you actually have a tool called the system profiler that will um, show you exactly what your system is so if I click on about this Mac right here it's gonna first pop up with this window and what this is showing is that my processor is a quad-core 2.5 gigahertz uh, G5 and it's got 13 gigs of RAM so this is a pretty fast machine. It's um, been adequate for what I'm doing. I do wish I had an Intel chip because the G5s now are getting old and a lot of people aren't writing software for them because there's just not as many of them around. This one's about five years old and it still runs great aside from not being able to run some of the universal Intel software. Um, the next thing that you've got is more info here. If you click on that, it's going to open this guy. And this is a system, the system profiler. And what your system profiler shows you is all the different details about your machine. And it's really great when you're shopping for different components or when you want to know exactly what you've got. Um, his specific question was about the graphics display, his graphics card. And this, uh, if you click here, is going to show you what exactly you've got. I've got a G4 6600, and it's a PCI um, graphics card. It's not, it's not like real top end. It was a pretty mid middle line um, card back five years ago when I bought this machine. But it's run um, two cinema displays really well, and I haven't had much in the way of sluggishness that he is describing. Um, Art of Wrath here says he's got a dual, uh, I think, 2 gigahertz machine and he's got a, a Radeon 9600 which I, I believe is a decent card too, I'm not, I'm not really sure. But I, you know, neither of these are really high performance cards. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why you're having issues but I've got several different things that I can show you. As far as the system profiler, you can click through um, some of these other things, like your serial ATA will show you um, your different hard drives and then give you some more details about them. So go ahead and click through some of these different things. Um, it'll show you really a lot of what's going on with your system, you know, like your what you have installed for RAM and things like that. It's also got some network. Um, and different you know different things like that so it's a very useful tool the system profiler and the easy way to get to it again is just through about this Mac but we're gonna go ahead and quit that for now because the next thing that's really a good thing to know is software update if you click software update what's gonna happen is it's going to automatically contact Apple and look for new software this is really important because um, as they fix bugs or release new and better software, this is how you get it. I just got a new uh, Mighty or Magic Mouse for Christmas, so as you can see, I've got you know some new software. So I'm going to go ahead and install this just by clicking on there. It's going to you know ask for your password and all that, and then it will automatically um, download and install. The thing that's important. Like I was saying, with the it's you really want to keep your your security stuff up to date, and then also your like your system software is up to date. And so if I click about this Mac again, it's also going to show me that I'm running 10.5.8, which is the most up to date system software that's available for the G5s. There's 10.6 now, which is Leopard, I believe, but it's you can't get it on the G5. It's Intel only. So 10.5.8 is the best you can do. Um, having stuff like that also should solve some of your, your graphics cards, just like all the little hardware 
things, it should um, do all of that. This is asking me now to restart, which I'm not going to do right now since I'm in the middle of taping for you. But in order for those updates to take place, I need to restart the system. So those are the first two big things to consider when you're um, having, you know, these are just kind of house cleaning things. Another thing you, you should do is zap your PRAM and repair disk permissions, but you can watch the video and, and do those.